Hey, what's up? Um, this is a test balloon or a canary in a cave sort of situation where I'm trying something new just to see how it feels. So I had, well, nice to meet you. My name is Quentin Lucas. I have been doing one minute stories every day online for the past roughly 55 days and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to keep doing it and I'll get to why in a minute because it's actually not obvious why I do these stories but I've been talking to my people about it and always like the question of money comes up but originally it was just an idea for platform building because I'm a writer and I just needed to boost my signal so to speak but then it kind of became its own thing sort of I mean it's a very small thing still but the response has been more positive than I expected um and more loving than I expected, honestly. Um, so I was thinking, all right, so how can I make this a stream of income without violating it with <laughs> the scourge of American capitalism? And I still have no idea. No, that's not true. I have some ideas. But again, this is just a test balloon. So one idea was to do Patreon videos where... There be two services. One, a weekly wrap up of the lot of the previous seven stories. Hopefully, that becomes something where it's more interactive, where um, the videos are considering other people's responses to the stories. But again, this is a test balloon. So right now, it's just me. Two, um, month every month, four expanded versions of a story. This one was an idea that kind of came by way of my brother because I think last week I'd done a video about Goodfellas and it's a one minute story. And he commented and said, I feel like you could have done, could have done 10 to 15 minutes. I could have done an hour on Goodfellas, honestly. I don't plan on doing hour long videos, but I do feel sometimes, while I love the structure, I do feel sometimes con confined or constrained by it. Limited might be a better word. So there's that. Anyway, back to my original point. So the reason why I started doing one minute stories and this will eventually be a weekly wrap-up video once I get past my meandering phase. But the reason why I started doing the one-minute stories, the main reason, the absolute main reason is because it's a kind of prayer for me every day. It's almost like, like I haven't been to church in years. I don't plan on ever going back. I was talking to a homie, and I said to him, well, he asked me, how am I doing? And I said, man, I'm feeling pain just like every other black person in America, but I'm maintaining. And I said... Something about doing these stories is really helpful for me, like spiritually, this kind of... And he said, those of us who love you know that you just need those stream of thought moments. And that really meant a lot to me, um, to know, because I really care about this person. I'm really glad to hear him say that you know, he's one of those who loves me, because uh, I feel the same way about him. Um, and also just to be accepted for who I am, because I am a stream of consciousness, consciousness kind of person even when I write it kind of comes out that way before heavy edits so it's a prayer but it's not a prayer in the sense of asking God for something because I feel like I've wasted a lot of time in my life asking for something that was already in my hands or in my life I don't really need to ask to be a storyteller I ask a writer I don't need to ask some publishing house to publish my stories for me I can do that on my own so it's a prayer in the sense of, hey, God, look at this. Look at me just being who I am. Um, look at me confronting the fear that at one point we all fail at the prospect of being who we are. I don't even know why I am this way. I really don't. And I think about that a lot. I think about how like I was, my grades are probably better in math and science than literature. But I don't know why this is it for me. But it is. Anyway, that's how I kind of got into the one minute stories. It's a short answer. The long answer involves years of rejection and just kind of trying to find my place in the world that I don't know if I actually do fit in, et cetera, et cetera. But that's the short answer. So, weekly wrap up. I watched the first seven videos that I've done, and my first thought was it's taken me time to get used to this idea, which led me to think it's probably going to take other people time to get used to this idea. I don't even think the first five or so videos technically were stories. I think they were in the sense that anything, anything can be a story. 
But in the sense of how I've structured the idea of story in my mind, I knew those weren't the ways that I wanted to tell stories. They were fine. They had interesting points, interesting moments, interesting pieces of trivia. But it wasn't until about story six and story seven, I was like, all right, those were stories. That's kind of like what I was going for, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I think the one story that stood out to me, well, a couple stood out to me, but I'm forgetting them right now. But one was about, um, oh, actually, hold on, I'm gonna grab my notepad. I got it, hold on. I'm back. One was, oh, it's been Bala here. Yeah, it was the one about Nat Turner and how Nat Turner had prayed before he led the revolt. And he was praying every day, and then one day he saw a silver eclipse. And the irony of that story, that's what kicked off the slave revolt, which left a lot of white people dead. And the irony of that was that for me, Nat Turner prayed to the God that his slave masters had taught him about. And in practicing violence, Nat Turner practiced the art that his slave masters had taught him about. And I thought that was really interesting. And maybe that was my favorite story of the week. Ooh, that'd be a good segment. Favorite story of the week. Um, <laughs> but I think story six was really interesting because it was the first time that felt like a story. I can't even remember what it was. I just remember number six. Like, okay, that feels like me. But that's just... I don't know. Those are my points. Those are, those are my thoughts. I think it's really interesting whenever you start a project and whatever, it kind of takes on a life of its own to go back to the early stages and see what you think about it. Because I'm only 50 days younger than, than I am now. And I'm looking like, who's this baby trying to tell stories? Anyway, that's my test video. I'll tell you more about the Patreon stuff later. Um, it's money. I don't feel like talking about that. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Just.